Hello everyone, it's me again, True Chamberlain here with Silhouette America at CHA 2016. I've got this beautiful gem of a gem. It's called the Mint Stamp Making Machine. A lot of you guys are going crazy about it. It's exactly how it sounds. It is a personal stamp making machine, make no mistake. Basically what you can do now on any image, any design, any art that you have in your studio library or silhouette library, you can now make it into a stamp. You can take photos, draw your own drawings, or use any one of our over 75,000 images, or I should say designs on, on our software to use it as a stamp. Right now, I'm actually gonna make you guys a stamp, but first I wanna tell you what comes in the box with the machine. So with the machine, you get the machine itself, you get two different stamp sizes. Now this is a 15 millimeter by 60 millimeter stamp size or a 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter stamp size. It comes with the stamp, the stamp top, and the block. And I'll go over all of those here in this video, so no, uh, no need to worry. You get four ink colors. You get the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, plus an additional color of black. You get the two power cords, one that goes to the PC. This can be used with Mac or Apple or uh, Windows computers and your power source. You get the software uh, CD download and you also get 50 free designs from Silhouette as like a thank you and as a gift to get started. Now, now that you have your Mint, you open it up, you connect it, you download your software, what are you gonna do? You get these boxes that has the Mints in it. This is the largest Mint, mint size that we have. It is a 45, millimeter by 90 millimeter stamp again this is the biggest size we have this is big enough to make a personalized business card but here in this video I've actually made a, a stamp for Martin Reinbeck uh, it's titled Rein, uh, Martin Reinbeck CHA 2016 I'll show you how that works so if you want to swing around here the software is exactly the same as you would see in the Cameo or Curio so right there you already know how to use it you basically go through, choose your stamp size. I've already chosen it. It's already ready to go. As you can see, I've typed it out. You can draw, you can download your own images. And just to give you guys an example, here's your design library, just like you're used to seeing. You can choose any one of the designs you already have. But for this video, we already made a stamp, just like I mentioned. I'm gonna open this bag up. Now this, this is your blank canvas. As you can see, it is wrapped in like a, uh, a sealant, it's sealed. Do not break the seal. What you wanna do is you actually wanna insert this uh, whole housing into the machine, and I'll do that now. So I'm gonna hit send a silhouette, or sorry, send a mint. And you'll notice that this uh, light will start to blink. One thing I forgot to mention is that if you have any writing on your, on your stamp, when you hit send to mint, it will flip the stamp for you, so there's no need for you to reverse it. We're, we're gonna do the, the hard work for you. Like I said, I'm saying send this to the mint. It's blinking saying, feed me, I'm ready to receive the mint stamp. And just like a Polaroid, I'm actually gonna stick it in the back and you're gonna see it come through. It's gonna take about, uh, I would say, maybe 45 seconds. As you can see, it's feeding its way through. We have several different sizes of stamps ranging from about 10, uh, 15 millimeter by 15 millimeter, all the way to this biggest one, like I said, is 45 millimeter by 90 millimeter stamp size. I just, I get uh, distracted every time it comes through because I just think it's so cool that it's, as it's coming through, it's burning in real time the image. So once that's done, we'll pull that out. While it's minting the stamp, I'm gonna prepare my block. With, with the machine, you also get the block itself, the top, which is interchangeable, and I'll show you that here later in the video. So I'm basically gonna remove the sticky part or the cover to the stick. This is really sticky. I always tell my customers and my clients that this is the most important part once you get to this point. Because it's so sticky, you gotta make sure that you line this stamp up correctly. As you can see, it's still feeding its way through the machine. And it's looking exactly like I want it to just like I had it programmed in the software. The machine will let you know when it's ready for it to stop. Do not pull it out. You hear that it's saying I'm done. Now what I can do is I can break the seal. I can take out the stamp. There's that film I was talking to you about that's on it. You can touch it, you can feel it. It is not raised in fact. 
what it's done is it's burnt through the top uh, rubber and exposed the absorbent pad underneath. So this is very porous, the gray part that you're seeing. Again, it's very important that you line it up because if you get it on there the wrong way, it's kind of hard to get it off. All right, so now it's on there. This is where the fun stuff happens. Now I've asked Martine earlier what's her favorite colors and she, she, she said yellow and pink. So what, that's what we're gonna do. These are our inks that come uh, with the machine. The yellow is one of them. The other colors you can buy at any store or any retailer nearest you. It's a water-based ink. Um, and it's just an applicator. What I want to do is I want to apply liberally to the gray area the ink. This is probably the most time consuming because you have to wait for the ink to soak in all the way and you have to make sure you cover all the gray. So I'm sure with uh, Martine's video expertise she might be able to speed up the video but if not I'll try to hurry so that you guys don't have to listen to me talk. You can just ooh and ah over the power and awesomeness of the mint. So I've got the 2016 CHA all done and covered. Making sure I've got all the area covered. While that's soaking in, I'm gonna apply my other color, the pink. Yeah, can you cut along? See, the pink seems to be uh, treating me nicer than the yellow did. It might have been out of ink. We've been using this for four days now at CHA, which by the way, if you haven't heard about CHA, is the biggest craft hobby expo in the United States. It's being held in Anaheim, California this year. Next year, there's been talk of a different location. And we are almost done. Again, I apologize. Some of you are thinking, oh, you're wasting all the ink. As long as you get the ink on the gray part, that's the part that soaks up the water. Now, I've been telling my customers, it's kind of like when you hike, go hiking, and you want that first gulp of water. It's so refreshing. That's how this pad feels about the ink. It just wants to receive the ink as much as possible. So we're actually gonna give that a couple more seconds to, to soak in. As you can see with the, the yellow, it's already started to sink in. You can see the discoloration. The great part about our, our pads, and I can show you this later in the video, is that you can actually add layers of color. Uh, what I mean by that is, say we're done with this stamp, when I'll show you what it looks like here on this uh, canvas, this white paper. <laughs> Once you're done with the color, you can then add another color directly on top of the yellow, say purple. And you're not gonna see a mixture of purple and yellow. You'll actually just see the color purple. But we'll get to that point. So. Now that I've given it enough time, if I was at my own home, I'd probably give it a longer time to soak in, but because of the video, we wanna show you guys the awesomeness of this stamp. So you're gonna see a couple of the first couple of stamps are gonna be splotchy, that's just getting rid of the excess ink. And then all of a sudden, it's like magic, your stamp then comes to life. The best part about this stamp now is I can use this up to 50 times before I have to re-ink it. There's no need for that. I can then go home or in my office, interchange the stamp sizes or interchange the stamp tops. We used this one about 30 times yesterday and I'd be willing to bet that when I put this on top of this paper, it's gonna look as if it was just inked. Line this up. Look at that. Every time. And just like any stamp, the lighter I press, the lighter the stamp, the harder I press, the more clear the stamp is, the more crisp. So, earlier in the video I just mentioned that I can add color on top of another color. And so now I'm gonna change it back to my original stamp, and by the way, I'm gonna put a top on it. Let's do that now before I forget. It comes with a stamp label. So I wanna stamp that. Flip it over, put it on the cover, so that way I know which label goes to which stamp, All right? So that's there. Now say I want to do yellow right on top of purple. A lot of you are thinking, oh, that's going to be awful true. What are you doing? That's going to be an ugly color. I don't want the mixture between yellow and purple. 
I want the purple. Well, I'm here to tell you that you will be as pleased as punch because you will only see purple. I'm only gonna do the CHA part just for the sake of time. Let's get another blank canvas. Let's give it a couple more seconds to soak in. Again, if I'm in the comfort of my own home, I'd probably give it about maybe two minutes. But I think it's gonna do everything we want it to. Um, give you a countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And again, the first couple of stamps where you apply the ink, it's going to be splotchy, not to worry, because then it will go away. And if I hold up the old stamp to the new stamp, you'll notice a different color contrast. That is pure purple, no mixture. And that's what we love here at Silhouette is that you're able to create, make, take, design your own designs and make it personal. You can craft your own desires and make your designs come to life. Thank you again for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.